Okay. All right, I'm streaming Art Breeder, just basic stuff to teach people how to use it. And nothing too fancy right now, but we're gonna do portrait stuff first. All right, so we're gonna pick a face that we like and we wanna mix with something. And uh, the most basic thing you can do is just crossbreed with another face. So you go crossbreed and uh, I'll just go random because if you're new you won't have anything in start. So the person we're breeding with has a hat on. Let's see. Let's put a hat on this person if we can. So the content slider will kind of affect the hat and facial features. It's called face here, but it's content. Okay, so we'll give her a hat and then we'll change the style this way. So now we have a completely new creation. Looks better than both. We'll hit save. And there's our person. So that's pretty simple. Uh, let's see. So that's probably the easiest way to make a face on our breeder. But you can't really get... All you can really do is mix two faces. You can't really get something new. So in order to do that, you go create, portrait, compose, And we're gonna, we're gonna pick two faces that we like. Uh, this one. And some of these aren't actually faces, but don't pay attention to that right now. People are just really good at this website. And they can make it do whatever they want, basically. All right, we'll mix these two faces together. So if we just have these, see how this is half, this is half, this is half, and this is half, so it's all added together it's it's a full. And it's kind of like you get variations between these two faces. Which is nice, it's kind of boring though, like we're not getting anything really new. Although we are getting more variation than crossbreed mode. So <clears throat> anyways, if we want some more randomness we just turn down a couple of these sliders. Uh, we want this style. And now, since we turned it down, there's less than 100% of each, each category, so that leaves some space for randomness to fill in the blanks. And I think we want the style of this guy. So we're getting a lot more variation now. Um, you can also crank up the chaos. And that will also give you more variation. Variation, I don't know why I said it like that. So that's pretty cool. Click a few of these. Alright, so we got a face. What else are we gonna do? Upload portrait. Oh yeah. So another way to make a face is you go create, portrait, upload, and uh, I'm out of uploads right now, but I'll still show you. So you would click this and then you'd select the file you want to upload. Um, these are the ones I did previously. So there's Frankie McDonald, there's like, some Hindu gods, there's my profile pic, and that one was like a big fail because the face wasn't looking straight on the camera. Um, same with this one. You really need, for upload to work, you need it to be like looking straight at the camera more or less. She's looking to the side a bit. It still worked. Those two worked good. That one worked really good. So 
So yeah, there's that. That's upload. Jeez. So um, let's go to one of these. <laughs> let's go to one of these children, and we're gonna change the genes. And they don't really do what you think they're gonna do sometimes, like green is not really changing the green. Hugh does what you think he would do. <laughs> Kinda make him even fatter with this one. <laughs> so that's the default genes. Press save. Mm -hmm. As well as the default genes that people make their own genes. So you go add gene. Uh, go trending because probably the better ones there. There's a lot of uh, genes that don't really do anything. Okay, let's try this one out. Italian Renaissance painting lighting. Yeah, that works. So crank it up, and now it looks like a Renaissance painting. Average cryptid. That was a good gene. Okay, so there's those, the genes. And a neat tip is once you've made a bunch of faces that you like, um, just select them all in compose mode. And uh, I don't know why it keeps. Since they're all the same, it's not really doing anything. didn't work well together. Really didn't work. And also you can select more than two faces. You can select up to eight. So we got Lady Gaga here. We got some kind of monster lady. Some kind of vampire lady. pretty creepy but they mix them together because of this one it's getting all sorts of weird bits to it that's pretty cool and what's good to do is take like a normal looking face and mix it with something that's kind of wild Alright, so that's uh, portrait mode. Next is general mode. General mode's pretty crazy. Um, basically, general mode is everything the AI can think of mashed together. So, you try to make people, they look like a mix between a monster, an animal, and a mask or something most of the time. Um, it does a lot of, it can do anything basically, but it doesn't always look, it usually looks like super creepy. These are some of the better people that are made in general mode. It's pretty much as good as you can get. Um, I like to make things in general mode, so I've made these things in general mode. Um, I like to make people, and most people don't make people in general mode. My flowers are pretty popular. These are in general mode. So we'll show you what happens when you crossbreed. So 
what you want to do is, if you can't find the thing you want to read it with in these pages, you just grab the URL. Pop it in there. So, the slider is which, which one it wants to be more like. So it's really cool, you can make like a bajillion different bouquets. people have read this one. And let's do another one in general mode. We'll do compose mode. I don't know why it always displays like that. So it's good. General mode is good for animals. I mean, it makes animals that don't actually exist, but it's pretty good at them. It's pretty creepy. Let's find some more animal looking things. See how we added the tiger and now the things it made is more tigerish. And here we go, we can look at the genes for this thing. Jaguar. All these different animals, cheeseburger, wig is in a lot of them because um, it doesn't know how to make people, it just knows how to make wigs on masks. So yeah, that's what it's made of. Uh, I don't know, you can add genes here, it's not, not so great, but add cicada. Let's crank up the cicada on this. It's kind of how it looks. You can also do kind of pseudo landscapes. Wow, that's a really good landscape for general mode. Uh. Oh, here we go. So there is landscape mode by default on uh, Earth Reader. But general mode can do kind of cool landscapes too. There's more variation in the general mode, but um, it's a square picture instead of an actual landscape size picture. That's cool. So yeah, lots of neat stuff that it can make. I really like these for some reason. Right. Since we're doing landscapes now, we might as well just do the built-in landscape maker. So we're going to go create, landscapes. There is an upload, you can upload things. That's like the XP background. I don't have uploads left this month. You get three a month or something for a basic user. Don't know why I display them like that every time. It didn't do that on Firefox, but now I use Brave and it does that, where this one is like down here when it loads. So you don't have to put anything here, you can actually just hit generate and it'll make completely random stuff. That's really weird looking. We're going to select some stuff. It's pretty unique, it's kind of hard to get like a little island like that in the middle, so we're going to grab that. Have this like nuke going off or whatever. Yeah, I like the perspective on that one, so I'll mix those together. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can add genes in compose mode. Um, haven't really done this before in landscape mode, but it works the same in all the different modes. So you just crank that up a little bit. That worked really good, actually. Uh, Cootie Bug, Strange Skies, that's a good gene. All the genes are there. Um, there's children, 
which is like if you only want to have one parent and just make children from that. I like to make it a lot similar. And then you can kind of mouse over and see it if you liked how it changed it. I like how that worked. And then you can kind of just keep doing that over and over. Until you end up with something you like. This is how I make a lot of things in general mode. I just kind of keep going children, similar. And then I find one that I, does what I like. It's like a weird tree in the background. Alright, so that's landscapes. So that's basically the, the gist of the website. Um, create. There's other modes, I'll show the other modes too. Um, you can animate as well. That's more advanced, we'll, we'll let you figure that out later. Okay, let's find a couple. Let's get the emerald building. And, uh, it's an airport looking thing. I think I would like it to be more of the airport shape, but more of the green style. So, yeah, that kind of worked. What other modes? Paintings. So basically, these all work the same. Let's mix a landscape with a portrait painting. See what happens. Mix like smaller people. Makes sense. Let's make a person with this style. And since we've cranked everything so far to the limits, there's very little variation here. And we're using 100% of both sections. If we leave a little bit away from 100%, it takes more time to generate, but we get a lot more unique stuff. And it honestly it looks better. Alright, well, we're going to finish up the stream now. Um, I'll just show something I really like. It's uh, Art Breeder Plus. It's an add-on you can get for your browser, uh, made by Janik. It's really good. It, it really improves the website. So, here's what the website normally looks like. We turned Art Breeder Plus on, hit reload, and now we, this is what it looks like now. So, Art Breeder Plus lets you have a different color is like the best part of this dark mode so your eyeballs don't get burnt out by the white uh, the next best thing is blocking users um, unfortunately there's people that will use bot accounts to upvote their stuff so the trending page is just full of all the same faces so you just go let's say we're, we're on trending Let's say we don't want to see someone for some reason. All these people are so cool. It feels wrong just to even just to show how it works. It feels wrong to to block them, but here we go. 
So if you don't want to see this user's stuff on the turning page, you just hit block. And then next time they won't be on there. And our Breeder Plus also adds multiple select. So So you hold shift, um, and then shift again, and you can hold shift click, unclick them. Um, if you want to tag them, alright, we just tag them, and there's the tag. So. There we go. All those things we just tagged are here. So that really helps you organize things. Um, and a fairly new addition is um, shift select. You can delete a bunch. Bye bye. And it doesn't update right away, but that's fine. It, they're gone. So that's basically the most basic stuff you can do on our reader. There's a lot more. Um, but that should help new users kind of get an idea of what to do. Um, I didn't show characters. Character mode's pretty cool. make some pretty neat stuff with this. Alright, so that's Art Breeder. Um, you're going to find a lot more stuff to do than what I showed you, but another good thing to do is join the Discord server. That's the wrong. That's the wrong channel. <laughs> Here's the operator Discord. Lots of stuff to do here. You can show off your creations, get feedback and comment and whatnot. It's pretty nice. People are pretty friendly in here, so it's a good place to go. So that's pretty much it for this stream. Uh, just showing our breeder uh, for new users. Alright, thanks for watching.